Some of the biggest black holes ever recorded in the history of science have gobbled up over 20 billion stars. If there's one thing that we know is true but simply doesn't seem true, it's the concept of black holes. They're incredibly mysterious phenomena in the universe that we've never quite understood, and yet it's something that fascinates us. In fact, if you want to see a black hole tonight, go outside and look in the direction of Sagittarius. That's where we have the center of a galaxy and a black hole weighing perhaps two to four million times the mass of the sun, lurking right at the center of our own backyard. There's nothing quite as powerful as a black hole in this universe. Being a mixture of space, time, and matter all wrapped up in a single point, they have the capability to absorb anything that comes into contact with them. But while we do know that they're extremely powerful, we haven't really known many of the specifics behind them. Well, until now, this photograph is the smoking gun. First of all, the black disk in the center is the event horizon, the point of no return. You fall through that event horizon and you never come out. Scientists have been studying black holes for decades and have finally figured out the inner workings of one. Join us as we discuss what it's really like inside a black hole and how this discovery might just change everything. But before we can get to the current discovery, we're going to need a bit of background. Even though most of us grew up knowing that black holes were a real thing, there was a time when they were just a theory. Until the first black hole was discovered in the late 1960s, known as Cygnus X1, from this discovery scientists were able to gain some insight into how black holes work and behave. For instance, they found that a black hole is an incredibly dense area of space-time with such immense gravity that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. They also discovered that black holes come in different sizes, with the biggest ones being around 200 kilometers across and the smallest ones being tiny, about the size of an atom. Cygnus X-1 is a stellar mass black hole, which means it's only six times bigger than our sun but has the same mass. The discovery of Cygnus X-1 revealed that black holes tend to have strong magnetic fields as well as a powerful gravitational pull. This makes them incredibly dangerous and can cause serious destruction in the universe if left unchecked. It was this discovery that enabled researchers to learn more about how these powerful cosmic objects work and to develop theories that allow us to better understand these mysterious phenomena. From this discovery, we were also able to find out how rare black holes actually are. It turns out that there may be close to over one million in the Milky Way alone, yet they're still incredibly hard to detect, leading many to speculate that the actual number could be significantly higher. If there are that many in our own galaxy, we need to learn more about them, and thus began the journey to really understand what's inside a black hole. In essence, when something enters a black hole, it is trapped and compressed down astronomically until it reaches the singularity, the main mass point of this entity where all matter is essentially crushed into one single particle. But before reaching this point, there are two layers of the black hole that one must travel through to reach the singularity. The first layer is known as the outer event horizon a boundary surrounding the mouth of each black hole where anything entering it will not be able to escape due to its incredibly strong gravitational pull. This layer is responsible for trapping and slowing down anything that falls into it, so much so that to escape would require traveling faster than the speed of light, an impossibility at this time in our current understanding of physics. This is also the point where the physics of our universe stops working, replaced instead by a new set of chaotic laws that govern what goes on inside. The second layer is known as the inner event horizon, which acts as a gateway leading toward the singularity. This is where the real danger lies as once a particle enters this layer, it has no chance of surviving or escaping and is almost certain to be crushed into a single point of matter. At this point, gravity is so powerful that it bends even light itself while time slows down and temperatures become unimaginably hot. So, not only is matter being crushed, it's being boiled alive. What makes black holes so dangerous is that they all have completely different gravitational pulls, making them incredibly difficult to study and predict. Due to their unpredictable nature, the thing that makes them even worse is that, due to the incredibly strong gravitational pull within and around a black hole, it is impossible to observe them directly. So, scientists have to rely on observations of stars that orbit nearby these entities in order to gain any meaningful information about what lies inside them. Think of it this way, you've got this overwhelmingly powerful thing in space that you need to know about, but the thing exists in 3D while we can really only study it through telescopes and pictures all 2D without ever going inside. Because, as we've established, once you go in, 
there's no coming out. But that's not all. The problems with studying black holes stem from a fundamental impossibility. We can't travel fast enough to escape their gravitational pull. This means that scientists are essentially limited to studying them from afar, which is challenging given the sheer size and complexity of these phenomena. In order to do so, they have to observe the radiation the black holes emit and the dust and gas that surround them. This makes it incredibly difficult to create a detailed image of what's inside the black hole, as any probes or cameras sent out into space would be instantly crushed by the event horizon once they reached it. Further complicating matters is the fact that every black hole is unique in its own way, meaning that there's no single standard model for how they form and behave. On top of this, physicists have so far been unable to make sense of the singularity that lies at the center of all black holes, as we simply don't possess the technology to travel fast enough to reach it. This means that all we can do is theorize about what might lie within, but nobody will ever truly know until we find a way to transcend the boundaries of space-time and travel faster than light. To add even more difficulty to the situation, black holes are constantly changing and evolving as they absorb matter, energy, and radiation from the universe around them. This means that whatever data scientists may have gathered from observing a certain black hole at one point in time could easily become outdated as the black hole continues to transform over time. Despite the danger and mystery surrounding these massive astronomical phenomena, they can still be studied and understood to an extent. By mapping out stars that are close enough to the event horizons of black holes, scientists are able to observe them from afar and gain valuable insight into their structure and behavior. This knowledge has allowed us to further explore space safely and develop theories about what lies beyond the event horizons of these mysterious entities. As scientists have done just that, there have been particular theories that have come up, and this is where things get really interesting. One theory about black holes suggests that they are not just huge masses of nothingness but instead could be gates to other galaxies and universes. This idea is based on the movie Interstellar, where characters travel through a black hole in order to find a new home for humanity. If this theory holds true, then black holes could provide us with a gateway to faster-than-light travel. This would mean that we could navigate through them to reach galaxies and universes beyond our own, not limited by the constraints of space and time. However, this theory is still very much theoretical, since it relies on creating technology that can travel faster than light. But that's not all. There are also other problems. For instance, due to the gravitational pull of a black hole, any spacecraft entering it would become trapped and unable to escape. Again, this means that traveling through them would require extensive research to avoid such a catastrophic event. In addition, the immense radiation that comes with black holes could also be dangerous to any spacecraft traveling through them. Plus, it is still unknown what else may lie beyond the singularity of a black hole. But the thing is, scientists are already working on creating a spacecraft that can travel faster than light. If they're able to create this spacecraft, chances are black holes might just be one of the first things we look more into. While there is enough proof that holograms are, in fact, real things as we've discussed earlier, studying these mysterious beasts of energy is extremely difficult. So, Enrico Raldi set out to simplify the entire concept. He wanted to approach things totally differently and did so by taking two of the most common theories about black holes, particles and gravity. When combined, they're known as quantum matrix models. Raldi then went even further and proposed a new theoretical concept, which is now known as holographic duality. This theory suggests that when we observe a black hole in space, it should be viewed as a hologram. The essence of this theory lies in the idea that the outer space around a black hole plays an important role in its function. It is not just a singular point where all matter compresses, but instead is part of an ongoing cycle of energy. According to Raldi, the particles and gases found in outer space provide the fuel that powers a black hole. In other words, when we look at a black hole in the form of a hologram, we can see how all these elements interact with each other and come together to create something new. This is a much different picture than what has been previously suggested about the behavior of black holes. So, instead of a singular point where all matter compresses, we should be looking at the possibility of a moving black hole. The idea is that it is constantly consuming dust particles and gases from its surrounding space, which helps to power it further. This means that even if a black hole were to move near a planet, 
it would still be able to consume its matter and continue growing in size. The implications of this new theory are exciting, as they could lead to the development of a better understanding of black holes and their behavior. If we were able to unlock the secrets that lie within these mysterious objects, we may even be able to use their energy for our own purposes. It's still uncertain whether this theory is correct, but it provides a much more exciting look at these powerful objects. As technology advances and we continue to learn more about black holes, the possibility of unlocking new secrets remains open. Only time will tell what discoveries lie in store, but from what we've already learned about the inner workings of a black hole, chances are that things are just going to get increasingly more interesting. And well, when they do, we'll be the first ones to talk about it here. Black holes, the enigmatic giants of the cosmos, challenge our understanding of physics and push the boundaries of human knowledge. These cosmic entities, formed from the remnants of massive stars that have collapsed under their own gravity, are regions of space where the gravitational pull is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. This extraordinary force creates a boundary known as the event horizon, beyond which lies a point of no return. Recent advancements in observational technology and theoretical physics have significantly enhanced our comprehension of black holes. For instance, gravitational wave detectors such as LIGO and Virgo have opened a new window into the universe, allowing scientists to detect ripples in spacetime caused by the collision of black holes. This groundbreaking discovery has provided direct evidence of black holes and has also confirmed some of Einstein's predictions about general relativity. The study of black holes extends beyond the theoretical realm and involves sophisticated techniques and tools. The Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, a global network of radio telescopes, has delivered the first ever image of a black hole's event horizon in the Galaxy M87. This monumental achievement offered a direct visual confirmation of the existence of black holes and provided valuable insights into their structure and the surrounding accretion disk. One of the most intriguing aspects of black holes is their influence on surrounding matter and radiation. As matter spirals into a black hole, it forms an accretion disk, which heats up to extreme temperatures and emits X-rays and other forms of radiation. This energetic process not only helps in the detection of black holes, but also plays a crucial role in understanding their growth and interactions with their environments. The jets of highly energetic particles ejected from the regions near the event horizon are another area of intense research, revealing how black holes can affect their galactic surroundings. Theoretical models also explore the potential roles of black holes in the broader cosmic landscape. For instance, black holes might be integral to galaxy formation and evolution. Their immense gravity could influence the distribution and movement of stars and gas within galaxies. Moreover, the interactions between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies might drive the formation of galactic structures and influence star formation rates. Hawking radiation, a theoretical prediction made by physicist Stephen Hawking, adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of black holes. According to this theory, black holes are not entirely black but emit radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. This radiation suggests that black holes can lose mass over time and could eventually evaporate completely. The concept of Hawking radiation introduces the idea that black holes might not be eternal, challenging traditional views of these cosmic giants as permanent fixtures in the universe. Another fascinating topic is the potential for black holes to serve as cosmic laboratories for testing the limits of our physical theories. The extreme conditions near a black hole, such as intense gravity and high temperatures, create environments where the interplay between quantum mechanics and general relativity can be studied in ways that are impossible elsewhere. This might provide clues to a unified theory of physics, bridging gaps between quantum mechanics and gravitational physics. The concept of black holes also raises philosophical questions about the nature of information and its preservation. According to the black hole information paradox, information about the matter that falls into a black hole might be lost forever contradicting the principle of quantum mechanics that information cannot be destroyed. This paradox has led to ongoing debates and theoretical proposals, such as the idea that information might be stored in a holographic manner on the event horizon or that it could be recovered through some form of quantum entanglement. In addition to theoretical advancements, the study of black holes has practical implications for our understanding of the universe. By analyzing the effects of black holes on nearby stars and gas clouds, 
scientists can infer properties of black holes that are otherwise hidden. This observational approach has led to the discovery of a variety of black hole types, including stellar mass black holes formed from collapsing stars and supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies. As our technological capabilities continue to improve, new methods for studying black holes are emerging. Space-based observatories and advanced computer simulations are enhancing our ability to explore these mysterious objects. Future missions, such as the proposed space-based gravitational wave observatories, will offer even deeper insights into the nature of black holes and their role in the cosmos. In summary, black holes represent one of the most compelling and mysterious phenomena in astrophysics. They challenge our understanding of fundamental physics and offer a unique perspective on the universe's most extreme conditions. As research progresses and new discoveries emerge, our grasp of these cosmic giants will continue to evolve, potentially leading to revolutionary insights about the fabric of space-time and the nature of reality itself.